One of the ways to keep children safe from vaccine preventable disease is to make sure that the injection itself is safe. So in this video, we will show you the general steps to follow when using an auto-disable or AD syringe, which is considered to be the safest type of syringe for administering vaccines. First, always prepare the injections in a clean, designated area that is free from blood and body fluid contamination. Only prepare one injection at a time. Take out a new auto-disabled needle and syringe. Inspect the packaging very carefully. If you see that the package has been punctured, torn, or damaged in any way, you should discard the needle and syringe. Peel the package open from the plunger end to remove the syringe from its plastic wrapping. Or you may simply need to detach the plastic cap. Be careful not to touch any part of the needle. If the needle does touch any non-sterile surface, at this point or at any point before injection, discard the needle. Insert the needle in the vaccine vial or ampule. Its tip should be in the lowest part or bottom of the vial. Pull the plunger back to fill the syringe just past the mark. Remove the needle from the vial or ampule. Remove air bubbles by holding the syringe upright and tapping the barrel. Then carefully push the plunger to the volume mark. Locate the appropriate injection site and position the child carefully to minimize risk of movement and injury. Push the plunger forward and inject the vaccine. At the beginning, or just at the end of the injection, the plunger will automatically lock so the syringe cannot be reused. Do not recap the needle after use. Dispose of the needle and syringe in a safety box, which is a leak-proof, puncture-resistant container for shop's waste. Be careful. Many health workers are injured by accidental needle sticks after the injection, but before the syringe is placed in a safety box. Finally, either discard the vial if it is a single-dose vial or, if it is a multi-dose vial, store it at the required temperature for future vaccination sessions. You should now know how to give a safe injection with an AD syringe.